Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Today I'm going to be continuing on with producing processing units and I'm also going to be continuing on um, expanding my copper extraction here. I'm going to try and cover most of this ore field here in mining drills so that I can extract as much copper as possible. Um, and then once I've got the copper being extracted, I'm going to um, start extracting from the little thing of iron that we got at the top so that I can start uh, making a whole load of electrical circuits just down here, just like a, a separate unit for making electrical circuits. Um, and then obviously we've got more streamlining and tweaking and adjusting and, you know, all the little joys that come with playing this game, just keeping everything running smoothly. But there is something very important that I need to talk to you about first. I have had a question running on my channel. I posted up a video asking a question about how this channel was going to be continued, um, whether there would be any changes, and the question was, did people want me to continue doing Factorio videos on a regular basis, or did you want me to focus exclusively on Farming Simulator? And I have had a few people say that they really like these Factorio videos, but the overwhelming majority of people have stated quite clearly that they want me to do Farming Simulator seven days a week. And so with that in mind, this is actually going to be the final episode for a little while. And I will come back to this. Um, I won't be able to do that until I am uh, doing YouTube full time. Um, the reason being that when, at the moment, I can I only have time to do one episode per day. Whatever it is that I'm doing, I can only produce one video a day. Um, once I am able to start doing YouTube full-time, which is what I am working towards, I would love to be able to do this full-time. Uh, it takes a huge amount of time, so I'm not able to do it at the moment, but I, I would like to be able to do this as my sole thing that I do. I just want to I want to be able to be a full-time YouTuber. And when I do get to that, when I do become a full-time YouTuber, and I am saying when, not if, uh, you guys love my content and I am growing daily. When I become a full-time YouTuber, I will be producing two videos every day. And when that happens, I will start producing more Factorio videos if that is what people want at the time. I will try to cover various different games, but it would appear that most people on my channel at the moment would like me to produce Farming Simulator seven days a week. So from now on, that is what I'm going to be doing. It is going to be my sort of primary reason for coming to this channel, and there will be other games as well. So now that we got that out of the way, um, I'm not going to be deleting this world, I'm not going to be stopping this world. When I do come back to this, as when I become a full-time YouTuber and I come back to Factorio, I will continue on with this world. We will continue on with our dream of building the ultimate mega base. Uh, by that time, there will have been a few updates, so things will have changed somewhat drastically. Uh, I will probably have to do things like fight the bugs in hand-to-hand -hand combat rather than being able to rely on laser turrets, which I'm not overly happy about, but, you know, we, we sort of got to roll with the punches. So, for now, I am, as you can see, expanding my copper extraction quite significantly. This is... <laughs> and there we go. I love plugging the whole lot in all at once, getting everything running. And look at all that ore. Look at all that cheddar. That is brilliant. Um, the middle line coming down, that is going to be fast belts, and then I will take fast belts running out the side. We're getting a few electronic circuits coming out of there. I'll probably stop the extraction of electronic circuits on the end of that line fairly soon, because uh, part of the reason that we're expanding that copper so rapidly is we're going to set up a separate production line for electronic circuits so that we can start feeding them in everywhere else that they might be needed. And... It's something that is quite... You, you use a huge amount of them in all sorts of different places. So if we've got a dedicated production line, we'll be able to ferry out loads of them to all different directions. So I will... Um, can I put a few more? I'm not... Actually, I don't think I will. I'm not going to put any more in just yet. Um, I would like to extract this lot here. I've got all of this iron ore here. So if I put in a line of these, um, we will take out all of this iron ore that we can get hold of. Put a couple in under here. And... We can just about squeeze two in there, and that will cover every single 
bit of it and put one up there and then one just underneath and that's all of the ore covered so if I put a belt up from here put that one and come round I will then be able to ferry that across there put two in now that should I'm hoping be fairly even I, I'm I like to keep the ore fairly evenly spaced on the belts as they come out I'm not going to need any fast belts coming off of this one uh, what should we go let's go increase the laser turrets I'm going to be using those soon and uh, so yeah I want to try and keep it fairly even it will come out over here that will start excellent that's building up fairly evenly on both sides so that's perfect I'll bring it down here and then I'm gonna make some electronic furnaces I'm gonna need more than two I'll have to go and get some more oh, no, I've got seven there that should be enough for the iron I'll need some more for the copper uh, what's going on here oh we've just not basically we just don't have enough power now I've got um, all of those extra mining drills that's going to take a bit of a drain on the power, isn't it? So we will see if we can put out a couple more areas of... Oh, I've got plenty there. I can have at least three extra sections of solar panels. And those will fit in quite nicely. I've got lights in the middle. I also need... So I'm going to need... I can't have it in just in my bags. I've got to have it in a chest at the moment because I don't have a robo port on me. So that's something I will have to remedy very soon. Uh, for now... I just want a couple of lights. There we go. I popped down an extra light there. So I've got lights around the edges as well as in the center. So the whole thing should be lit up. Um, there we go. So let's change that. Now I need to, in the chest, I want to make a few substations. And after I made the substations, uh, yeah, let's make a couple of those. I want three of them. And I'm also going to need lights in there. And I'm going to need um, the pylons as well I mustn't forget those and they've got to be in the chest so that the construction robots can come out and grab them they can't grab them from me just yet so as soon as we do have something in place we'll do it but let's just drop that down there see how they come so that's 24 it's equivalent of one section but three sections of this is equal to one section of the accumulators um, that actually works quite nicely that's, that's a nice little pattern there and I think once they've expanded out a little bit further I think it's going to be pretty good that's it will mean it will be able to walk through the field as well I think I think we can walk past those steel pylons uh, I'm not entirely certain we will have to have a look double check on that but that's working all right uh, we will have to wait overnight for at least one night to see if the extra panels can sort of um, help increase stuff I'll put down these seven furnaces here I uh, need a belt coming out but do it like this I'll actually have the iron coming out on both sides of the belt, won't I? Rather than just coming out on one side. Get some batteries that will go with the um, the power armor that I want to make. A bit more down there. Right. Now drop all of the... Actually, you know what? I'm going to change this. I'll just have it on one side. I don't think we need to worry about having it on two sides because I'm going to get the copper in a bit to join in with it. So I don't think we need to concern ourselves with having everything all on... Like filling out both sides of the belt. Uh, just because of the way that we're going to move it round. Uh, let's join those in. Right, those seven will now. And we're not actually consuming all of the power yet. So that's doing all right. So I know those are quite a big drain. But once we've compensated for the extra mining drills. And now that they've also filled the belts up. And they'll have stopped a bit. It should make a little bit of a difference. Grab a few more of them. Come on down here. And 28 laser turrets. I'm going to be using laser turrets a bit later on. I've got a, a plan for those. A fairly epic plan, actually. Um, there's some engine units. I'm going to need to make more furnaces down here. Um, I'm going to need more advanced circuits for that, actually. Get a few of those. There we go. It's a good 400 of them. Got loads of them. We've got enough processing units as well. And I'm hope... Yeah, I've got enough uh, alien artifacts. I've got enough of those as well. So I should be able to make the, the, the power... Per, per the power armor that's what i'm trying to say i apologize um and i need some more fast i need some more fast belts to take the ore out from there to where we're going to put the furnaces right we've got power armor mark two that's the 10 by 10 grid um i've got the regular power armor that's a seven by seven so which is oh no we have the, there's the other power arm which is a five by five grid that's the one you've got to have the batteries because you can't fit the other stuff into should be okay like that right fast belts down here 
run those out there and then I'm going to put them straight along just underneath these mining drills so that it, it I'm not bringing them down too low I'm putting it in the right spot so that um, later on I can expand that out and start mining the rest of it as well 10 furnaces here for now will be plenty we can always come back and put more in later but just these 10 for now I'll um, I'll extract some of this here and use this to make the electronic circuit section and then more of the ore can go elsewhere later on um, we'll probably siphon off another belt full but for now I can run this into here I need to make a few more belts these do take a little while to build chuck a few in there uh, another five coming up there we go right so I've got another five there just fill in those last few there we go right now I'm gonna need a whole load of fast inserters making the shotgun I want to get rid of this stone that's why I'm making some shotgun cartridges there we go got rid of that one now I'm gonna run that down um, just double check everything up here that's part of it now is just kind of running around making sure everything is still running smoothly so I'm gonna put a triple line here and then join them in together just put fast belts actually should be okay like that but if you put fast belts in um, it will help to squeeze them up actually I don't want them to go out that far I need to bring them back and just come up straight from here so I'll run straight up there I'll need to do that when I've made a few more belts I got other things I want to make first I got these inserters and then I want to make a whole load of lights so that I can light it up down here as well uh, let's put some power in while we're making for those and uh, there we go right now I've got some lights um, pod I'll uh, pop a few of those in after I've put the power in the inserters are working quite well that's going to fill that belt up if I bring this one out as far as I can I think that'll be okay like that and then I want to run this belt down right basic modular and power I don't want basic modular arm that's the 5x5 five five. I want the power armor I'm going to need some more alien artifacts so that I can build the um, reactor core and then once I've got the reactor core in place then I can get the personal robo port and we're cooking on gas so that'll probably be next time actually I won't I don't think I'll get to that because I need to get some more alien artifacts and that's gonna take up a bit of time first and here I'm actually gonna need I think now that I've got these coming in here all of this copper I'm actually gonna need more furnaces aren't I yeah I, I want to I want to get more furnace so what I'll do is if I remove all of these I can put those down elsewhere get rid of all of those there we go I will put some more solar panels down in a minute I think and now I'll just put normal furnaces up through here I got that one steel and, and I've got I've got 28 of these other ones so let's just put a few of them up run that up like that put this belt up here once I put the inserters in place I'll have to make a few more once I've got the inserters in place, that's something that we're going to need to do is we need to make sure that we've got factories producing everything, every single thing that we need, uh, especially like inserters and belts and pipes and gear wheels and stuff like that. I need great big sections of factory that are producing all of these things in large quantities so that I can have as many as I need whenever I'm expanding the base. And that is something that we will be doing. Now, obviously, I am stopping the series now soon, um, well, after this episode. Uh, but I will be coming back to it so we we can make plans ready for when I do come back to it and I'm really looking forward to being able to come back to it and doing some more because I do enjoy playing this game okay I really do enjoy playing this game but for now um, we'll put in some fast belts at the bottom but we're also going to do like we did on the iron and we're going to do a slight loop and put part of them about half of them are going to loop round and then go back on themselves so that you're feeding the copper into both sides of the belt rather than just one side of the belt whiz that down through there like that and now you've got it on two sides of the belt it should fit in quite nicely the only issue is i'm going to actually need to check up the other end to make sure that um i'm not relying on it being on one side i just thought about that i will have to go and check that at some point fairly soon i think uh, anyway, now that I've got I've got iron coming down, I've got copper moving up through, we're going to need a little bit more power still. I don't know if I've got enough in chests to throw out another section. Um, I want the roboport and I want the, um, the fusion reactor, the personal one. 
So I think what well, I think it's uh, the fusion reactor is going to take priority now. I need to get that one done. So once I've got that one and I've got the power armor in place, I need another robo port that I can put down here so that I can uh, gain access to a few more bits and pieces and fiddly bobs. Uh, there's a robo port being made and how many of these? I need another robo port over here as well. You can see because I don't have a standard chest anywhere, I've only got a passive provider chest. The robots, when they're holding something, they've got nowhere to take it. So if I move out of range, they just stop and hover where they are. And they'll continue to do that until I move back into range. Um, and I have mistakenly made myself two suits of armor, which is a little bit of a nuisance. Um, we'll come back to that. Right, if I drop these down here, I don't want that belt just yet. Or well, not, I don't want it along there. I want it because I don't actually need the two of them together, do I? I just need copper on one side. If I'm just making electronic circuits here and I'm not making anything else. I'm actually only going to need them on one side. Now this one however is on the wrong side of the belt. I need to change it onto the other side of the belt. So I can do it. I don't really like the square. Just trying to think of the best way to do this so that it looks as nice as possible. Um, could do it like that and then put the two um, what it calls the, the, the two speedy inserters, fast inserters side by side. I'll, I'll move it back a little bit from there. If I, if I curl it back slightly and then there we go like that and then bring it round underneath. No. Move that one back there from like that and down. Get rid of that one and place him in there. Like that there. Actually that's how I want to do it. That's how I want to do it because then I can feed it out to the belt and I think that looks as good as it's going to get I think. Yeah. Okay so anyway um, let's put down some power and I want copper cable on the bottom and then I want electronic circuit on the top. I need, I've got the inserter coming off, I need the inserter coming out of the factory as well so that I can feed them through. And I'll put a few more along that line as well, I'll probably have four or five factories making those and then they can all feed straight into a chest. I'm going to extract some iron from here, some iron plates, so that the only iron plates I've got at the mo I mean, the, uh, the only ones I've got at the moment are over the other side of the map. And every time the robots bring me them, it takes quite a while to fly all the way across, like these here coming now. Uh, if I've got iron right here, there it's, it's a lot closer and it's a lot easier for the robots to resupply me personally. Uh, make sure that I stay fully stocked. Like that there. It, it, it was quite a while ago that I used it all up. So by doing it like this, it just ensures that I'm not going to run out anytime soon. So making another robo port. I'm making a few more passive provider chests and different things that I want. And uh, I've only got five more frames there. It's probably not going to need to worry about that too much at the moment. Um, 21 of those. I've almost got enough, but I do need some more alien artifacts if I'm going to make the fusion reactor. Let's drop a robo port all the way out here. I'll run some power back to it. Go straight up from there. There we go. And bring that one out there. Now I'll put a chest down, there we go, put another thingy in, um, telegraph pole and it's not a telegraph pole is it, it's electric pylon, or no. Uh, you know I can't remember, there is, a, there is a slight difference between a wooden telegraph pole which holds the telephone wires and the electric pole, which I think is electric, well, I thought a pylon was a steel one like those there. I thought those were pylons and then the wooden ones they've got a different name. I'm not too sure about that. I'm gonna have to look that up. For when I come back to this series I will see if I can if I if I mean if I don't remember remind me when I do come back to this series to tell you the difference between the two because I'm sure there is a different name. I'm sure that they're not the same name all the way through. Anyway so I've got four of those factories now that should produce me with plenty of electronic circuits I'm not going to be running out of copper or iron anytime soon because of the speed that this stuff makes. It, is, it goes at a phenomenal rate. Right, 107. I need 100 of those to make the... Um, oh, what's it called? The, the fusion reactor. The fusion reactor. I need 100 of them to make the fusion reactor. But now I want to get a few alien artifacts. And is this going to be a good idea? Whoa! <laughs> Uh, okay, this was a really bad idea. They've taken out the power, and now they're destroying all of my lasers. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't kill my lasers. 
No, stop. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, I'm going to need a few more than that. Oh, why did I do this? I, sh I should have robots here to run repairs. Every time I attack a base, every time I attack one of them, I get all oh, I get all of them compiling out. I keep get, they they keep taking out telegraph poles. That's what they're doing. They take out telegraph poles and then the um the lasers lose power. These things aren't supposed to be intelligent. No. No, no, no. Stop killing all of my stop killing all my lasers. I'm going to run out. I have run out. I got no lasers left. Okay. Now I just have to hope that they can fight them off. Is that enough? No, uh, he's out. Now these up here. <laughs> this is awful. Right. Let's... Okay, they're not coming for me. They're not coming for me. I'm just going to stop there and wait until I've got um, repair robots with... Uh, con uh, construction robots with repair packs. That's what I need. <laughs> oh, right. I've got the fusion reactor. So I can put that one in, which means that I can have my own robots. So next time, when I eventually come back to this series, we're going to have to do that a little bit better. Because I lost all my laser turrets there. I've not got any left now, apart from a few there in front of me. But if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, please tell your friends all about me. It's going to be a little while before I do come back to this series, and I really hope that you have enjoyed it. If there is anything that you would like me to do when I do come back and start it over, uh, please make sure you let me know, um, and I will make a note of it. I'm not just going to abandon this. I am going to continue it in the future. But like I said, unfortunately, I don't have the time at the moment to do everything that everybody wants, and the majority of people are requesting that I focus on farming simulator at the moment so when i am able to produce two episodes a day i will come back to factorio that is a little promise from me to you um but until next time thank you very much for watching this is frithgar goodbye and see you later